All right, Wolfpack, we got our hump day wad talk, Wednesday wad talk coming up. Um, we are diving into our uh, deadlift cycle or deadlift progressions. So we got a beautiful little imam here where we're progressing um, in weight and uh, lowering the reps. So we're still going to work with the tempo that we did, or the same tempo we did last week uh, to make sure that we're controlling the barbell on the way down. We're feeling the tension. We're building the strength and the positions on the way down. And then we're dead stopping the barbell and actually using our body strength and teaching our body to create tension from the floor on the way back up. So in turn, we get stronger. So uh, the first three minutes, kind of similar to the clean and the snatch uh, imams that we've been doing. You're going to do five deadlifts um, at the same tempo, right? You pick the first one up, normal speed, three seconds on the way down, pause completely on the ground, recreate tension, stand it back up. Uh, just make sure on the fifth rep or on the last rep of all of these sets, uh, we're still lowering the barbell down to the ground, so we're getting that negative function. So um, I think last week we did uh, three to five sets of five on this uh, deadlift. So this being an EMOM, getting a lot less rest, right? The other one was just kind of at your own pace. Um, I feel like the weight should maybe start a little bit less than the fives last week, unless we used a pretty manageable weight. Um, I don't know how uh, much tension these are going to cause in, in the short rest period. It's going to be pretty intense, I feel like, uh, because we do five reps with, you know, four seconds in the tempo at least. You're looking at 20 20 to 25 seconds uh, just for these reps. So we're really only going to be getting 30 seconds rest. So I think um, if we go too heavy, uh, it's going to be hard to replicate good form, good fashion, and then and then repeat the tension, or sorry, repeat the tempo. So make sure we choose an appropriate weight for the five because we do need to add weight for the four, and then we do need to add weight for the threes. Obviously, uh, we're going to get more rest as the EMOM goes on, and the four and the three um, comes along with less reps, but you're adding weight, it's going to be even more challenging muscularly. So um, if anything, start a little bit lighter than you think this week. We'll find ways to progress this over the weeks or we'll add minutes to the EMOM, um, but have some fun with this and make sure back is flat the whole time. As we're tracking the barbell down the body, we're keeping tension against the bar uh, with our lats and our arms, and we're keeping the barbell right up against the legs and the shins. All the way up and all the way down. That way, um, when we're doing this tension, we're not putting any pressure on our back. It's going all in our um, posterior chain and midline. Okay. The accessory work tomorrow is dumbbell death march and uh, dumbbell RDL burnouts. So the death march is basically an ostrich walk, except you're just going to hold on to two dumbbells. And the same thing like when we did the RDLs last week. Um, if you roll your shoulders forward, right, you're probably going to be able to get the dumbbells all the way to the ground. But if we keep our shoulders back, it's going to limit the actual range of motion that we can go down, thus creating more tension in your hamstrings. So choose an appropriate weight where you can maintain good back angle, right, hinge as far down as you can on that single leg, stand up, and then walk the next foot forward. So we're actually doing like, a, like the ostrich walk. Boom, 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 one. So I would do, uh, if this is a new movement to you, I would do five steps on each leg. So 10 total, that way uh, when we go into the dumbbell RDL burnout, we can still get some decent reps out of that. I think if you try to do 10 on each leg, you're just going to be marching forever. So do five on each leg. And then the dumbbell RDL burnout has the same thing. You probably want to elevate on um, a plate kind of like we did last week. You're going to hold the two dumbbells. I would hold them uh, like this so as you go down, you can kind of go towards your shoes. You have a little bit more range of motion. Um, and you can get a little bit deeper, so I'm just going to do as many as you can there with the same intentions. Get down to the tension point, feel it, squeeze, and pull back with the hamstrings, and rest as long as you need between those. And then the conditioning is a great little progression from last week. So it was every two and a half minutes on the row last week. Now we've added basically 30 seconds of work time, and we're going to be using it um, doing dumbbell step up. So we're obviously adding a very uh, big component to this, but you do get a minute rest after. So I love pairing rowing and uh, step ups because you're pushing off of the rower for, uh, you know, two minutes at a pretty uh, vigorous pace. And then we have to use those same musculature uh, to step up on the box. So it always makes these really tough, really tough. And I feel like in workouts, grinding through the uh, step ups is never really like a strength thing for most people. It's just more like an overall fatigue. The dumbbells weighing down on you, legs are burning. So this is going to be a great opportunity to kind of push, push through that, get some, get some of that uh, Metcon, you know, burn feeling, and, and get some good quality volume and reps in. So um, try to match your row paces to last week. I would say probably the first couple sets. We don't want to really necessarily sprint this and then uh, lose intensity on the step ups. If we hold a decent pace, you know, two minute pace, still have a minute to crank out dumbbell step ups. Um, but if we're trying to force, you know, maybe even like a 150 or 155 pace, and that's kind of out of our our uh, 
our comfort zone. Uh, we're going to lose intensity even though we've gained 10 seconds on the row. We're going to lose intensity on the step-ups. Maybe you have to break and set the dumbbell down and get less reps. So if anything, find a comfortable pace where you can get it done, hop off the row or get right to the step-ups, and then we're cranking out um, the remaining minute of, of step-ups. So choose an appropriate dumbbell. You can do that as well. Rest and repeat for four sets. So we're getting uh, 2,000 meters of rowing and you're probably going to get 60 plus uh, step ups or so here. I think that's pretty, that's going to be some pretty good volume. So, uh, questions, let me know. If not, have a great hump day, great Wednesday, and we'll see you in the gym. We'll be back later.